Hey guys, today we're gonna be going into a brand new video in TD Ameritrade's Thinkorswim. We'll be looking at patterns on the chart and pattern recognition, two of the key concepts in trading. Keep in mind, pattern recognition will not help you predict the price level. It will only help you make a more informed trading decision. I feel like I'm repeating myself like a broken record, but at the end of the day, that holds true. Using all of the information that we've learned in previous videos, you can put it all together to figure out certain patterns and certain pattern emergences. Let's take a look at what's going on with Tesla Incorporated. Let me draw on the chart real quick. Bada bing and bada boom. What you see on your screen over here is a bullish pennant. Now, bullish pennants form if the pattern on the chart consolidates to a singular range, allowing for the equity to either break out or break down. Essentially, the key concept of bullish pennants is look Looking for confirmation in order to determine where the equity is actually going. You never want to buy an option or the stock when it's actually consolidating in a certain range. The key concept over here for options traders is understanding if and when the equity uses the support and resistance level as confirmation to determine where it's going. Other than that, it's essentially like you're gambling if you try to buy something within a consolidation range because you have no idea exactly where it's going to go. Now, taking a closer look, you can see a couple of candlesticks over here. These candlesticks kind of support the range that we were talking about. As you can see, within the bullish pennant, this is what is known as a triple top. The top of this candlestick, this candlestick, and this candlestick all kind of support the trend line. And they're supporting it in the sense that it's making lower highs. What I mean by lower highs is that this candlestick is essentially the peak. This candlestick's peak is lower than the previous candlestick's peak, and this candlestick body is lower than the previous is high of the candlestick as well. What you can assume is that Tesla will be bullish in the couple of days coming because of the decreased volume. However, you never want to make that assumption. You always want to wait for confirmation. Now, what I mean by confirmation is breaking the pattern above or breaking the pattern below the trend line in order to figure out exactly where it's going. Now, let's look at another equity. As you can see for Facebook, this is what is also known as a bullish pennant. It consolidated to a range where after the range was done, it used the level as confirmation to go higher. Now, let's look at CRISPR therapeutics. A head and shoulders bearish pattern is known when the top of the bearish pattern forms a head and the two sides make resistance levels that are below the head of the graph, thus pushing the equity a whole lot lower. This is what is known as a descending bullish triangle. The bullish triangle forms exactly when the equity uses the level above the trend line as support to go higher. This is what is known as a bullish channel down. You can see the resistance levels up top over here, and you can see the support levels at the bottom over here. Essentially, it is consolidating to a range where it will either go up or it will either go down. What you can see here is the potential formation of a bearish head and shoulders pattern, where this is the shoulder, this is the potential for another shoulder, wherein this would be the head. This is what is known as a bull flag. A bull flag is when the equity consolidates to a certain point and uses the top of the resistance levels as a support level to move higher. This is what is called a demand zone. In the demand zone, the equity essentially looks like it's not really making a direction where it's gonna go, but when it does, it really moves. This is what is known as a ascending bullish triangle, wherein the support level is used as a further support level to break out using increasing volume. Now keep a close eye on Apple Incorporated. It seems to be forming what is known as an ascending bullish triangle. Look for rejection at this resistance level, support at this support level, and using either the resistance or support level to break out or break down. More than likely, it'll break up. Now, Microsoft just always goes up. Let's just ignore this one. I'm gonna put together all the things that I've taught you in all these previous videos. I think you guys are ready to go through a full charting review. Mark the high, mark the low, mark a key consolidation range. Mark some more levels that are supplemented throughout the graph. Now, you've given yourself a nice range where your equity can go. Let's zoom in on a closer time frame. This is what is known as a bullish pennant, otherwise known as a bull flag. You can see that Opendoor used this as a support to go higher. 
Let's zoom back out and go to another part of the graph to see why it was so bearish in the past. This is what is known as a bearish channel down. You can easily mistake this for a bullish channel. However, it used this level right here, this previous support level, as a resistance level to go even lower, tried reaching that same level again as we've marked over here, went even lower, used the level that we marked before as another resistance level to go even lower. Bottomed out at this area found a bullish pattern and now is in a spot to use previous resistance levels as support levels to continue its bullish trend paired with the fact that it has earnings coming up this is a great bullish play long term so that concludes the TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim charting series if you guys have any questions please feel free to reach out I'm always here to assist you guys on your trading journey. To those of you who have been viewing my channel, I thank you, I love you, brisk out.